like so many people on the internet i too was made to believe that this product from mama earth the under eye cream with caffeine and cucumber works magically on under eyes and it is a game changer however when i bought this product i was immensely disappointed in the people who reviewed and gave this product good reviews and in mama earth because this product literally destroyed my under eye area it not only did not work on my skin but it also gave me milia and it took me months to actually help and heal my under eye area on the flip side the mama earth aloe turmeric gel works great as a pre wash hair treatment hello and welcome to brand check brand check is a new series that i'm starting where i'm going to holistically review each brand and then individually review their products through a checklist that i have made now let's quickly discuss about mama earth as a brand now mama earth as a brand was founded by mothers so they are very conscious about what ingredients to use which means they are paraben free they also are animal cruelty free and they are plastic positive which means they recycle more plastic than they use which is great good promise so now let's dive into their products let's start with their upton face wash this i got as a free sample because i bought their other products which is good because i would have never bought this product otherwise and the reason is in their ingredient list i am going to come to that but before i like to discuss the price the price is 249 for 100 ml and it comes in a tube their standard uh, mama earth tube which is great for traveling now let's come to the smell and texture it smells quite strong because of the upton part i'm guessing and you can see the texture ew <laughs> say it's quite creamy but it has those walnut shell pieces in it now let's come to the ingredients of this product first is aqua which is water then is stearic acid stearic acid actually helps to bind everything together and it also helps to keep your skin moisturized then comes sodium cocoa glycinate this is a cleanser it actually helps in cleaning your face then glycerin which is a hydrator palmic acid is also a moisturizer then comes coconut oil which is highly comedogenic then walnut beans which is highly highly abrasive for your skin i am shocked that brands are actually using walnut beads still i would like to say that the walnut beads are quite small i don't know if you can see it's quite small so not as abrasive as those huge beads that we find in popular scrubs but it's still there saffron extract and niacinamide are good ingredients then vitamin e turmeric powder licorice great licorice is an antioxidant which is great now coming to the oils is orange oil lang lang oil and patchouli oil it can be highly irritating i mean this face wash has coconut oil which can be comedogenic as walnut beads which can actually cause micro tears in your skin and there are essential oils which can irritate your skin now this is why i wouldn't have bought this product as some of the ingredients can be highly inflammatory and can cause damage now comes to the efficacy i will say that it gives you kind of a glow on your skin however the smell is so strong that it lingers and it's it's just there and it's quite annoying to be very honest now which skin type can use this i definitely not sensitive skin not dry skin maybe oily skin but not acne prone skin it's just because you add these ingredients like coconut oil walnut beads and other essential oils you actually reduce the amount of people who can actually use your face wash now are there any problematic claims in this product and i would say definitely because it is written natural ingredients which is great repair sun damage great lighten skin now 
I think we have made it more than clear now that we brown skinned people do not want lighter, fairer skin. All we want is for products to work on our skin so that we get a healthy, clear skin. We don't want light skin. So I think at least, at least Indian brands should be conscious enough to not use such terminology. The next product is their face serum. This is their Skin Illuminate Face Serum. It has vitamin C and turmeric and it costs 5.99 for 30 grams which is i'll say medium priced it's not cheap the packaging is their standard pump packaging can be annoying because the pump gets stuck many times but i'd say it's still fine for this product now coming to the smell and texture of the product it smells okay i'd say it does have fragrance in it if you can see it's quite lightweight I would give that to Mama Earth that this product is very lightweight and it nicely moisturizes your skin which is great. It also gets absorbed in your skin really fast. Now when I was looking for serums to buy from Mama Earth, I came across this serum and I was so happy with the ingredient list because the ingredient list is pretty good. First ingredient is water, second is ethoxydiglycol. Ethoxy di Glycol is a, like a solvent. It actually helps the vitamin C and it increases the potency of that so that you know it can stay long on your skin and the vitamin C can actually do its magic. The third ingredient is magnesium ascorbyl phosphate which is the vitamin C part of the serum which is great because it is the third ingredient. Now in the ingredient list they start with highest concentration to lowest concentration so when you're buying serums and you find that the active is in the first five ingredients it is great because it means that the concentration is really good then the next few uh, ingredients are antioxidants and they also create the body of uh, the product next is behenil alcohol now don't be scared by the word alcohol in this i checked this alcohol actually is safe for use in cosmetic and skincare products so it is great then there is tetrahydrocurcumin which is turmeric so in all i'll say they used good ingredients and good promise that this product would definitely work <sighs> however when i started using this i was quite happy because as i said it gets nicely absorbed in your skin it gives a nice smooth finish it moisturizes your skin too but I did not get any illuminating or radiant effects on my skin. It is a good moisturizing serum but I wouldn't say it's a vitamin C serum because I did not get any brightening or radiant effects with this serum. Now are there any problematic claims in this product and I would say no. I mean it does have vitamin C and turmeric so uh, it should have given us a radiant skin but it did not but the ingredients are there so i wouldn't say it's a problematic claim now coming to the next product now this product is what actually pushed me to start a youtube channel because there is so much misinformation around about skincare and beauty products that nowadays it's difficult to tell which are real reviews and which are fake reviews and i guess because of these fake reviews i actually invested in this mama earth under eye cream but it's not a cheap product it's 300 rupees for 50 ml and that's medium priced for a product to not work at all now this product claims that it is it has a lightweight formula it is hypoallergic and it is made with natural ingredients now it comes in then standard pump However, for this product, this pump is such a bad idea because if I would pump it out, you would see it is a thick cream. It is definitely not lightweight. If you move this cream around and I can keep doing this for hours and it will not get absorbed in my skin. It will just stay there and the skin on my body is very 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 dry but this would just stay there <sighs> I 
as you can see does not get absorbed in your skin and your skin has pores out here your under eyes do not even have pores so it's just sitting over your under eyes and does absolutely nothing the good thing about this product is that it does not have any mineral oil and it's paraben free now coming to the next product it is their oil free face moisturizer with apple cider vinegar and to my surprise this worked like a charm if you have oily skin and you're looking for a great moisturizer which would moisturize your skin and also mattify your skin go for this product it costs 2.99 for 80 ml so it's a great deal and it comes in a standard tube packaging great for travel and i think you should definitely give it a try now coming to the smell and texture of the product luckily it does not smell like apple cider vinegar because we all know apple cider vinegar is horrible in its smell however it has good properties which really help your skin to heal and it's great as you can see it's a white uh, cream and it just spreads out nicely it does get absorbed in your skin quickly however when you apply it it gives a greasy feeling and initially i felt like what is wrong with mama earth it is such a greasy moisturizer but massage it in your skin and leave it like this for 2 3 minutes before you apply anything on it and you would actually see that it does the job of keeping your oil at bay now coming to the ingredient list first is water the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth are um ingredients which actually give body to the moisturizer they are emollients and solvents and fatty acids which actually make up the body and which give you the creamy texture then there is glycerin propendiol again good moisturizing agents then apple cider vinegar now i'd say this is a pretty good ingredient list and as you can see the product the greasiness has completely gone and it has sort of mattified my skin now are there any problematic claims with this product i would say a uh, little bit as you can see they have written non greasy which is good then they have written prevents pimples now i don't think that's going to happen there aren't any ingredients in this which actually would help you to prevent any pimples except apple cider vinegar but apple cider vinegar is somewhere in the middle it is not high up so the concentration is quite low and i wouldn't say this would prevent pimples maybe they are talking about in indirect terms that if your oil production is less you would get less clogged pores and so less pimples maybe now coming to the next product it is the hydra gel indian sunscreen i absolutely love when brands actually write indian because then we know that they have actually made it for indian skin they have tried it on indian skin which is great now this costs 399 50 grams which is a good deal for a sunscreen which has 50 spf now i was truly excited to use this product because i like hydra gel the formulation is great like when you ask me what kind of a sunscreen i want i want sunscreens which would mattify my skin which would not be greasy which would not leave a white cast but which also would be a great a uh, primer for my makeup so i always look for these four things when i'm looking at good sunscreens the texture it is white in color all mama earth <laughs> products are white in color except the under eye cream now this is the sunscreen it does not leave a white cast even if you think that it is <laughs> quite white right now but when you blend it in your skin it does not leave a white cast so don't worry about it it is quite light but it is definitely greasy it is not a non greasy formula it is very greasy but it is also light so it's it's great as you can see no white cast now i think this product can be used by all skin types except sensitive skin 
Now coming to the ingredient list of my hydrogel sunscreen. First is aqua, second is aloe vera juice, great hydrator. Then the second, third, fourth and fifth actually give the texture or to the uh, cream. They actually provide the body and the texture to the cream. Next is Suncat MTA. Now Suncat MTA is um, like a blend of the chemicals that we use as UV filters and they are non-irritating to the skin. Now uh, when I applied this in the morning, I would say that my skin got quite greasy in uh, 4 hours which is what normally happens. So it, it did not mattify my skin. However, I would say that it is fresh and lightweight not as lightweight as i would have liked but uh it's good i think it would work great for dry skin and combination skin types but i would definitely repurchase this product and the reason is that it works so good as a primer if you're looking for a sunscreen primer please take a look at our hydra gel indian sunscreen works great as a primer i actually like this so much that i'm wearing this right now under my makeup and it's evening right now now are there any problematic claims in this product it's written it protects and hydrates it does fresh and lightweight formula okay and protects against uva and uvb which it does so i don't think there are any problematic claims with this product out of all three products i would definitely repurchase the Hydra Gel Sunscreen, this oil-free moisturizer with apple cider vinegar and the aloe turmeric gel for my hair. If you like this video, please click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any queries, you can comment down below or DM me on my Instagram. And the links of all the products will be in my description box. It is available at nika.com. Until next time. Bye.